with two distinct and unique histories, the Redding and Northern and Lycoming Valley territories exist today because of a tradition that started over 100 years ago. In case you're unfamiliar with the original Redding, it has a big following in Pennsylvania and the Northeast. The railroad is most famous for its giant T-1484 steam engines, coal trains, and its green and yellow Bumblebee B-liner painted diesels of the 1960s. And while the Reading Railroad Company may have fallen in 1976, the spirit of the Reading is very much alive today with the Reading and Northern Railroad and the Lycoming Valley Railroad. Two of the most interesting railroads in America and well worth a visit if you value the origins of Northeastern Railroading. We begin this adventure with the railroad that started the whole thing. The Philadelphia and Reading Railroad was incorporated on April 4, 1833 to carry anthracite coal in southeastern Pennsylvania. The railroad extended along the parallel Schuylkill Canal from the coal fields near Port Clinton to Reading and eventually Philadelphia. The railroad was opened between Reading and Philadelphia on December 5, 1839. With the opening of Port Richmond on the Delaware River May 17, 1842, the Philadelphia and Reading had created a large outlet for its anthracite traffic. Expansion of the Reading began January 1, 1850 with the purchase of a segment of the Philadelphia and Columbia Railroad in Philadelphia. Over the next century, the company would lease, purchase, and merge with nearly 100 smaller railroad companies. From the 93-mile main trunk, the railroad would eventually become a 1,300-mile system. The more important of these additions were the Lebanon Valley, East Pennsylvania, North Pennsylvania and Catawissa railroads. As a result of these acquisitions, the Reading became a strategic bridge line railroad with connections from the west at Shippensburg, Pennsylvania via the Baltimore and Ohio and the Western Maryland and Williamsport via the New York Central and Erie railroads and in the east in the Allentown area via the Central Railroad of New Jersey, the Lehigh Valley, the Lehigh and Hudson River, and the Lehigh and New England. With the completion of an extension to Port Reading on Arthur Kill, the Reading gained direct access to the New York Harbor. The many branch lines and relatively short haul of its bridge traffic would have an influence on the type of motor power employed by the railroad in both the steam and diesel eras. The longest haul was from Philadelphia to Newberry Junction, which was a distance of 202 rail miles. The Reading's demise in the 1970s was brought about by many factors. The decline in anthracite coal traffic from 16 million tons in 1946 to just under 2,000 in 1975 was probably that biggest factor. The conversion of homes and industries from coal heat to petroleum and natural gas also lessened the demand for anthracite. Another lesser talked about factor was the construction of the St. Lawrence Seaway in 1957 which diverted much of the Midwest grain traffic formerly carried by the railroads to the Atlantic coast ports. The expansion of the interstate highway system, the Penn Central merger in 1968, and the sale of the Chessy Systems Reading Company stock in 1973 also contributed to the bankruptcy of the Reading. The Penn Central merger removed much of the bridge traffic with the New York Central and New Haven railroads, traffic the Reading desperately needed to make up for the loss of anthracite car loadings. The traffic which had been interchanged with the New York Central at Newberry Junction before the Penn Central merger was now handed over to Penn Central at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Former New Haven traffic destined for interchange at Allentown Yard stayed on the Penn Central. The resulting bankruptcy of the Reading led to the railroad's inclusion into the government-backed Conrail system on April 1, 1976, thus ending 138 years of railroad service to southeastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. However, the legacy continues in many communities. The founding and growth of hundreds of towns, many whose names relate to the railroad, are evidence to the impact of the railroad. The industrial communities such as iron and steel, breweries, automobiles, tires, frames, brick, electric power generation, chemical, food, meaning Hershey's chocolate, and railroad suppliers all depended on good rail transportation provided by the Reading.
Socially, the railroad affected the organized labor movement, fraternal organizations, club and school recreational outings, and local charitable organizations. It offered suburban residents easy, dependable access to jobs in Philadelphia. It carried the mail and express packages for over a century. It served as one of the strands in the social fabric of the Philadelphia area. Its station-building architecture brought a variety of styles to the communities in the region. The railroad also impacted the environment it passed through in both positive and sometimes negative ways. Truly, the Reading shaped the communities of southeastern Pennsylvania.